I know it'll change, but isn't that a beautiful blue sky? So this is September 3rd, and we went, got through our red flag day. Still a little bit breezy. I'm getting in some of those gusts still. Not like they were last night though. The flag was going straight to the side last night. But yes, it looks like a beautiful day and they have 17% containment. So let alone there was only three purple dots from fires that started during the night on our side. But they are now light green. So no more new ones. And um, it is the 17% containment. So they did a good job last night. Got better containment instead of losing control of the fire. So the firefighters did great. God was definitely in our favor. Could have made that wind all day long yesterday and didn't, didn't have wind until last night. And they, the fire is now 18,400 plus acres. So it did grow some more, but at least they kept it within the lines almost. They only had a couple of scapey little fires. So, so we will uh, see what the day brings, but this is a beautiful morning. You can tell the fire's burning again. So the low smoke is gone. So if I remember right, JD, that means the inversion table or the inversion has lifted. So it's not being smothered by the low smoke. So that means that the fire will burn hotter and more now since we that's the smoke is not down low like it was so now you can see that there's more new smoke that wasn't there even this morning so the fire's definitely burning today here it is the evening of the 3rd of September and you can see there's some smoke it's all along making a pretty sunset tonight but we aren't smoked in like we were. We did have a few purple dots on our map, so there's a little bit of new fire during the day today. But hopefully it's all being controlled. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So here it is, September 4th. And uh, it now has just burned just under 19,000 acres. And if you look, you can see a little smoke over the top of those trees. But basically we have another beautiful blue sky day today. And besides that it did not burn a lot of acres, we have 27% containment. Woo -hoo. So with 27% containment, their lines held when we had the red flag day and we, the lines that they had made to stop the fire. And I think we'll be okay. I think with they the other day on the red flag warning day that night they had 35 mile an hour winds and they did have a couple of new fires but they kept them within their lines on our side and so I think I think that we're going to be okay. That might look like clouds but that's actually smoke. That's at the north end of the the fire and it and it goes along this this direction. Well, the Rum Creek fire is, is far from out. We, we have some blue sky over there, and you can see through the trees where the smoke starts. And it goes all down there. But since they have 27% containment, and I'm really proud that they, the firefighters were 
able to hold it when we had 35 mile an hour gusts of wind the other night. So I think God is going to spare us and I appreciate all the prayers from everyone. And unless something drastic happens, I think this will be my last update on the Rum Creek fire. I don't think we'll have to evacuate. We are going to leave our truck and trailer there for now and hooked up and we're going to keep things packed a little bit. But unless things change, I would say that we're going to be safe from the Rum Creek fire. Thank you all who have been watching all my updates. And I hope if you live close to us, it's reassured you and showed you a few of the things that we do during preparation for evacuation. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you next time.